Hi, I'm Matt Yancic, and I'm an English teacher and a role player that wants to help you become a better game master. For nearly 20 years, I've been teaching subjects ranging from story structure and the hero's journey to creative writing and William Shakespeare. I've helped students break down and analyze other writers' stories, even as they wrote, shaped, and polished their own. In my classes, students explore the fine nuances of character, setting, and story from classic writers such as Ernest Hemingway and Mark Twain, genre writers such as Robert Heinlein and H.P. Lovecraft, and contemporary writers such as Stephen King. My goal was always to help students unlock their inner skills, helping them find their own distinct voice and style, and leaving them more effective storytellers and communicators. In all those years of teaching, though, I never stopped running tabletop role-playing games. Nearly 30 years ago, I first started role-playing with Redbox Dungeons & Dragons, Palladium's Rifts, and R. Talsorian Cyberpunk. I didn't just run with established properties either. Using Steve Jackson's GURPS, I also built my own worlds, taking players to strange and exotic settings that didn't fit and sometimes even defied standard fantasy or science fiction tropes. During that time, I began to see connections between the two disciplines. Many of the skills necessary in managing a classroom were similar to those used in managing a tabletop. And so, over time, I began to weave many of the things I did in the classroom into things I did at the tabletop, and vice versa. Over the years, my tools have become sharper and my skills more refined, evolving as both a teacher and a role player. I've stopped thinking of the story and the tabletop as mine, but instead as a landscape for player exploration and opportunity. In the same way I help students explore their own ideas and find answers within themselves, so too do I no longer impose the story on the players, but instead pull the story from the players. The focus of the game has shifted to helping player characters shine and blossom within the shared landscape of a collective and cooperative story. I love English. I love reading, writing, and communication. Most of all, though, I love storytelling, and I see RPGs as a form of collective storytelling. The truth is, though, we're all storytellers in our everyday lives, and I think that being a better role player and game master means being a more effective storyteller, a more effective communicator, and maybe even, just maybe, a better person. On Saturday, July 11th, from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I would like to invite you, yes you, and five other students for an online four-hour class, absolutely free, dedicated to making you a better role player and game master. My goal is to help you unlock your inner skills, help you find your own distinct voice and style, and leave you a more effective storyteller, communicator, and game master. In this free class, we'll lay the groundwork for five important pillars of game mastery. First, we'll discuss what to expect in a game. How much do we need to know about the rules, the setting, and the characters beforehand? How can we effectively plan and prepare for our games? Second, we'll look at Joseph Campbell's Hero's Journey and the classic five-act structure of the works of William Shakespeare and how we, as Game Masters, set a narrative landscape for players without railroading them. Third, we'll examine ways to keep players engaged through narrative hooks, pacing, conflict, and combat, as well as how to give players agency over their characters and therefore over the story itself. Fourth, we'll discuss gaming style as well as the look and feel of a game. How do we create appropriate and effective descriptions that evoke a mood and atmosphere, develop character and setting, and most importantly, drive the story forward? Finally, we'll take a look at some very specific ways of reading the players and managing the tabletop itself. 
How do we, as game masters, deal with the foibles and eccentricities of a mixed tabletop of players with different approaches to gaming, from different backgrounds and from different walks of life? Though imitation can be a great tool for learning, the main goal of exploring these five important pillars of role-playing will be to help you find your inner game master, your inner voice, and your own approach, not to recreate someone else's style. Game mastering and the games you create with your players can be whatever you want it to be. How will we do this? Well, we'll examine these five important pillars of role-playing in many of the ways you would expect in a typical classroom. First, there will be a little lecturing from me as I attempt to dispense to you some of the tricks and techniques I've picked up, gleaned, and, let's be honest, outright stolen from books, movies, television, and other game masters over my 30 years of running a tabletop. Next, there will be lots of discussion and debate within the class, so that we can explore as many aspects and sides of an issue as possible. Within these discussions, there will be paired work, too, and you can expect to be sent off into virtual rooms with other students to create scenarios and scenes, build characters, develop settings, and then tie it all together with conflict, combat, and narrative hooks. Finally, you'll run those scenes for me and your fellow students, modeling them. We'll watch different specific styles of play and see if we can flex our muscles by imitating them. Ultimately, we'll reflect on and critique our performance in specific, measurable, and actionable ways. We'll look at what worked and what didn't, but most importantly, we'll discuss how we can make what we do better. The workshop will predominantly focus on newer and less experienced game masters, but there will be most certainly a few nuggets for more seasoned game masters as well. In general, though, we'll test and push the boundaries of our skills and imagination so that when we return to our tabletop to run our games, we'll all be better for it. Why am I doing this? Well, I love storytelling and I love teaching. Make no mistake, role-playing games are a powerful form of storytelling that sharpens our communication skills and builds empathy. The strategies for running a successful game are an art, a craft, and yes, even sometimes a science. And those strategies can be taught, learned, measured, and polished. There is a massive shortage of game masters out there, and probably for good reason. Like public speaking, running a game for five or six of your friends can be a scary thing. We lack confidence in ourselves and often don't feel that we have the skills to command a table's attention, nor the imagination to help players willingly suspend their own disbelief. I think the world would be a better place if more people roleplay, and that's where you come in. I believe we all have it in us, and I want you to run an awesome game. And so, with that, please join me and five other students on Saturday, July 11th from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for an absolutely free, no strings attached class. No special memberships or equipment are necessary. All you'll need are a pencil, some paper, and a computer with an internet connection strong enough to run Zoom. You'll find all the information you need to participate in the description below. I look forward to seeing you there.